Welcome back. Well, it's Small Business Saturday, and by shopping small this holiday season, you could be helping your own neighbors. Erica Nicole is the founder and owner of Lotus Noir, a luxury bag company, and she joins us now to discuss how she turned her downfall into a beautiful brand. That's interesting. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. So let's talk about that. Uh, your downfall was what? Buying bags? My downfall was <laughs> first, it started off in the pandemic. You know, we all lived through grace and mercy through that. Um, I'll just say that God has been amazing. He helped me through some medical situations that I just really found the passion to put all of my things together to be start to build this brand. Um, this year alone, though, I did experience a layoff that propelled me to actually dive into my business a little deeper to understand exactly what it means to be a business owner and not just, you know, start off with a passion and, and put out goodness out yeah. there. Um, there's a lot of learning to do, so I joined organizations like 37 Oaks that helped me really understand, like, what it means to be a business owner and really create um, and, and put quality things out. Let's talk about this, um, your bag uh, brand name, your line, Lotus yes. Noir. How yes. did you come up with that name to begin with? I'll say that it was gifted to me. Um, uh, I was blessed with that name. It was Lotus Noir. They grow, Lotus flowers grow beautifully in the darkest, ugliest places, mm -hmm. just like people from Chicago. And we, they choose to get up every morning and be beautiful. I'm um, in the arrow in my logo, no matter how far it's pulled back, I just want my community to understand as long as we keep living, make it, make it beautiful and worth the shot, move forward, keep it going, and make life beautiful. How did you end up landing on bags? Because, you know, obviously a lot of women spend a lot of money on bags. Yeah. So I thought that was where you were going to go, is that your downfall was buying luxury bags. No, um, I'm a creative. So I started off, I was making beaded jewelry. I made... Uh, uh, heat press t-shirts and I've just been testing and and trying out different things um, I started off making like plus size brand name uh, uh, sayings and quotes on t-shirts and stuff and I started testing out different items um, but landing on the handbags alone it to me it just it symbolizes what I can carry in life um, what I can carry with me every day and the little amount that I can carry with me make it great um, so I landed with handbags. I started testing. I started doing my own research. In 2020, everybody was so resourceful online, sharing resources and things like that. So I was just doing a lot of studying. Um, and I started doing different fabrics and things like that. And I landed on vegan leather, of course, um, just to be more uh, conscious in the material that I'm using. Makes sense to me. Um, let's talk about your bags that you have here. Yes. What are these bags all about? You have this electric blue going. Yes. Let's talk about them. Yes. So this is Nicole. Um, That's the name? Yes. Her you name is the Nicole. Bag's name. <laughs> I did. I love that. Okay. Yes. And so um, Nicole is our se my second piece um, in the line. Um, it is a sling purse. Um, and is the, has detachable straps. It comes with a, a zipper pockets and zipper to protect everything in there. Um, she's named, of course, after myself. Um, something simple, something unique, um, something to carry every day um, that you can live with. Um, it came in, comes in black. All of my handbags will start off in my signature colors, which is black, gold, and the inside is a royal purple lining. Um, but then the blue one, that's my 2022 special. Okay. That one is the royal blue and it has the gold lining on the inside. Um, and, and I hope to be able to continue to produce more vibrant colors within this line as well. I love that. Uh, real quick before I let you go, obviously today is Small Business Saturday. Yes. Um, how important is it that people support your brand for you to actually be able to even exist? It is so important. One purchase allows me to keep my website open. Another purchase allows me to be able to do more marketing and research to be able to put um, information out there about my brand. Um, so supporting small businesses, myself or anyone else that you know out there, please support your community as we are continuing to push out and put great things out in the world. Um, we want to, I personally want to make an impact and, and create uh, revenue. I personally um, ask for other women in business to help support me through my brand so I know I can help and support so that's what I'm also doing with my my brand so supporting me also helps those that I choose to help bring along with me along the way so I appreciate that I also love your t-shirt you have a t-shirt I may not be quoting it right but basically saying don't come to creatives asking for free stuff yeah don't don't <laughs> ask creatives to create for free I love that all right and that's the website right there at the bottom of your screen lotusnoir.co make sure you go and support this small business owner thank you for coming on the show thank you for having it was a pleasure. All right, well, still ahead.